This is Y Ride, and I'm your host, Zach, and today we will be joined by your new host. Let's give a big Yamaha welcome to Trina Revilla. Hi, I'm Trina Revilla. There's so much going on beyond the motorcycles you see on the road. And that's what we want to show you. The world of riding may be dominated by guys, but the girls are definitely on the rise. You shouldn't be afraid of experiencing something new or getting out of your comfort zone. You never know, it could be amazing. A lot of people now are riding on their own path. You could do. Because this ride is for everyone. We got a new coast, everybody. Trina, welcome to Y Ride. We are excited. Thank you, Zach. Welcome. Hey, everyone. It's great to be part of this platform where we can show the culture of riding. This ride is for everyone, and it's going to be hell of a season. So, if you're all set, this is Y Ride, and here we go. Yamaha continues to offer the best products in the world to the Philippines. To make sure a Yamaha motorcycle is always within your reach, brand new rev zones have sprouted this year, 2019, all over the place. There's one now in Danghari, Lipa, Naga, and Angeles. This is the next level of your Yamaha 3S shop because this facility exclusively includes the big bike lineup. The Rev Zone offers state-of-the-art amenities combined with a spacious and luxurious setting. The service area provides suitable viewing for customers who are comfortably seated inside the air-conditioned shop as their motorcycles are being worked on. This is a first-class experience made special just for you. Yamaha also makes it a point to support the education of children with their Brigada Escuela program. Let's take a look at what they did last year. From new bags and supplies, washing facilities and walkways, an environmental seminar, and a dental health checkup, the program had it all. It even included the Yamaha Safe Riding Science Program to raise awareness and safety and handling of motorcycles, understanding the rules of the road, and becoming responsible riders. And this 2019, the Brigada Escuela program is still going strong. Yamaha headed to different schools in Batangas. They constructed a pergola, hand wash facilities, water tanks, stage rehabilitation, and even a brand new school canteen. The Yamaha Club held its national conference in Luzon and recognized top club groups, special individuals, and accredited new clubs into the growing family of Yamaha. The conference focuses on the annual plans of each group that enriches the community. This includes touring activities, promoting riding safety, and charity events. There were plenty of awards that were given out, and highlighting those are... The Top Performing Clubs of the Year Award, which were given to FC16 Club Philippines for Luzon, Tribo del Mio de Bohol for the Visayas, Club Mio I125 Cebu, and AMC Mindanao. And the Honor Award was given to three clubs which were received by their barrier-breaking lady riders. Marites Lagman of FZ16 Club Philippines for Luzon, Mylene Santos of the Cebuano Club of Cebu, and Virginia Felimer of Davao Sniper Guild, Inc. This really goes to show that the ride is for everyone. After the formalities, the Yamaha Club did what they do best, take a ride. It was a flat track party for everyone, and it won't be easily forgotten. Be part of the Yamaha Club and enjoy exclusive events, rides, and privileges. Just sign up on their website listed right here. In our next episode, we'll recap round four of the ARRC and how our UMA Racing Yamaha Philippines team is doing in the standings. Always remember to also follow us in all our different social media platforms. Tell us what's on your mind. Uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below and we'll answer them in our future episodes. I am Trina. That's Zach. Thanks for watching. And remember, only Yamaha revs, revs your heart. heart.
I'm Trina, and we'll see how the Uma Racing Yamaha Philippines team did in the ARRC.